Hello nerds, welcome back to another FIDA video. It's the last day of FIDA. So today we're gonna talk about how FIDA went, what I think of it, did I like it, did I hate it, was it utterly chaos? Yes. <laughs> I'm just gonna talk about all the stuff I learned while doing FIDA, and what I really liked, what I didn't, and what I would, and if I want to do it again, and if I would, would I do something different? As you know, <laughs> you guys didn't see me in a couple of days, which means I failed FIDA. <laughs> I did. Um, I did put a video online every day for the first 21 days. So this is the 22 video of this month uh, of FIDA. So I failed for eight days. Um, but I'm not too mad about it. It was a choice. It it I got derailed, um, and I could have made it right, um, but I chose not to. And that was a choice on purpose, so it's fine. Um, so the reason why I failed is on Sunday the. 22nd, I should have gone live. Um, that live show was cancelled for very, very good reasons at all. Nothing, you know, it was, that was a very good reason. I'm not mad about it. Uh, just to make sure uh, that everybody knows. I just planned, I didn't plan a video for that day because I was already struggling. So I just planned to do a quick, look at me, I'm going live for the very first time, join us on with a link um, and then I would still have content and then on the live there were reading sprints and I wanted to edit a film while being on live to hold me accountable so because I needed uh, to still create the content um, and then read after I filmed two or three videos that was the plan <coughs> And the live shows didn't go on. And of course I still could have filmed. But my husband heard the live shows weren't on. And he found it a bit sad. And I was okay with it. And he, he was trying to cheer me up. And he said like Wednesday we're going to Ikea to catch your classes. And I said like yeah I know I can't wait. It's really fun. And he said we, we, should, we, we could go today. Since you don't have the lights. And I was like yeah let's go. We're going. I was really happy about it. So I just chose to go to IKEA and get some, you know, cubes for my craft room. <laughs> that was a choice I made willingly. And I just didn't know what to film otherwise for that Sunday. Um, I didn't have the content yet, so I couldn't shuffle. Um, that was due to the week before I still had to make to film edit and upload every video every day so I didn't have any leftover footage I was still vlogging for Magical Hobbiton and the Magical Readathon so that wasn't done yet but that would be done on Monday so I could have edited that on Monday and then uploaded it but I chose not to do that because I really wanted to clean up my craft room and get the new cubes in. So from that point on, I just prioritized making my craft room, craft room look nice. Um, and I wanted to do that more than Vida. And that's just it. It was just a choice. And honestly, I would, I wanted to up to edit the vlog and upload it. It. Um, I wanted to do that on. Thursday or Friday, Friday, something like that. But my back got really bad, bad, of course, because of the closets. I did too much. That's essentially it. Um, so I chose not to. It was fine. I, you know, I didn't want 
I didn't want to be like, oh, well, now I miss Sunday, so I don't do Vida anymore. That that was not it. Um, I still wanted to do videos in the rest of the week then, but I just prioritized organizing the craft room when I got the chance. So I did that. That is my own choice. That is my fault. Um, um, so, you know, it's fine. However, um, if I had more content planned out already, that wouldn't have been a problem. So that's something I would definitely change next time. I planned the first two weeks now, which was great. That was awesome. I pre-filmed most of it, which was really, really helpful. And I decided to do all the harder videos that I didn't know how to film yet or uh, like my 25 bookish facts about me and I didn't have all the 25 facts. So I just put them in the bag and I thought I would get to them, think about them um, and get up with the house in the month and just, then I could do them. But I didn't. Uh, I did think about those videos, but I still didn't know how specifically. I didn't have time to look it up or gather ideas of how I wanted it to be. So I think that's where the biggest mistake lies, thinking that while doing Vida, uploading every day, editing a lot, trying to comment on everybody's video that is participating in Vida as well. And then you also have time to do research, which I didn't. And that's why I still needed to film and edit in the third week. And that's why I was struggling in the fourth week. So that is definitely something I would like to do differently. I don't want to leave all the difficult videos till the end. I want to do better research before FIDA. So there aren't as many difficult videos left because I know how to do them or how I want them to, or I know the things I will say. So that's definitely what I want to improve on. Um, because FIDA has actually been quite fun. I'm actually quite proud that I put out 21 videos in 21 days. That's still a really good achievement. And it it was really fun. And before Fida, I was really struggling and making... I was really nervous about needing so much content and creating so much content. I was really thinking I wouldn't have enough ideas and stuff I could film. And it turned out I did. I actually got more ideas while doing do, while doing Vida. Um, so that was great. I swapped out some harder videos for the new ideas. And I didn't do all my Vida ideas. I still have leftover ideas. I didn't I couldn't plan in Vida because there were only 30 days. Um so that actually makes me realize I could do three videos a week. And I might. I'm, I'm tentatively saying I will make three videos a week now. And that's really fun because the first time I did Fida, I just started out on Booktube and I just did one video a week. And then for Fida, I made it two. And I stick to that. And now I did Vida again and I think, yeah, well, you know, I could do three. I was thinking about doing three before Vida. I was contem contemplate, uh, you know, thinking about if I should. I was noticing I had more ideas I wanted to do and I couldn't upload because I only uploaded two times a week. So I was already thinking about it, but then I thought, no, that's probably too much work. I don't know if you have good enough ideas for that or many enough. Maybe you could do it two months, but then after that you can't. But now I think I can. 
So that's, that's really funny. And I really love the support I get from all the girls doing Vida as well. And it's just, it's just a really fun group. And it's just really fun to do. And I'm really sad I didn't have time to watch as much as I wanted to and comment on every single video. So I will be doing that after Vida. Um, because I really want to. And I, I love the support the group gives each other. And it just has been really fun. And every time I do Vida, I learn stuff. I learn now that I need to plan more for Vida. And pre-film more. This was a spur of the moment thing. I decided to do Vida for like a week and a half before it started. So next time I will definitely, you know, decide that earlier and get ahead. Um, but I think I can do 30 videos a day if I prep better. And I think I can do three videos a week. So honestly, I'm happy. I didn't do any of my video goals. I didn't hit any of them. I didn't hit 100 subscribers, which I knew I wouldn't. But I was hoping to get, you know, at least 10 more. Uh, but that didn't happen either. Uh, I really wanted to go live for the first time by Vida. And that didn't happen. It just, we really, really tried. But every time I could, the live shows didn't go on. And... The times the live shows did go on, I needed to work and I just couldn't make it. So it's not, we did, we did try. It was just bad luck <laughs> on that part. So I hope, you know, that will happen after Vida. I will still go live after Vida. That would be really nice. Um, but overall, I did have fun doing so many videos. I really liked it. I liked being part of a group. That all strive for the same crazy idea. <laughs> you know. It felt a bit like we're all mad here. And I love that vibe. <laughs> so. Yes. That was Vida for me in April 22. And. Let me know down below how your Vida was going. Please. Did you make it? Did you do better than me? <laughs> Probably. Um, just let me know down below what you like the most about Vida. Um, I would love to know what video of me you like the most. If you have any favorite. Um, thank you so much for watching. As ever. Please think about liking and subscribing. If you want me to see me still after Vida. If you still haven't enough of all those videos. Then please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.